Absolutely. And you mentioned Marcus Rashford there. I mean, what's, what else is left to say about this? Um, I, I, I must say this young man, because he really and truly is still a young man, yet still we're already, I'm outside hosting, you know, rallies to have Marcus Rashford for prime minister. I, got, I can only vote for prime minister of Jamaica, but if he wants to run for prime minister of Jamaica, I absolutely would vote for him too. But uh, just how remarkable is he? Probably future United captain? Remarkable young man. Um... Uh, future England captain, future Manchester United captain. When, when I've been lucky enough to watch United train when they've come over to LA, there was a time where I was talking to one of the fitness coaches and they were doing drills, just kind of running up and down the pitch and Marcus Rashford was next. And we were talking and the guy stopped me and he said, hang on a second, watch Marcus. And he, he just like stopped me from talking and had me concentrate on the speed, the pace of Marcus Rashford. It looked like he was running twice as fast as everyone else. He's just a phenomenal talent. Um, the, my favorite thing about Marcus Rashford off the pitch, because obviously he's done an extraordinary amount of things off the pitch in the, in the last year or so, is he's emboldened these young boys and girls that might have had trouble at school when people say, you can't afford your own school dinner, you have to get it paid for by the taxpayer and you know, you've not got the same amount of money as us. And these kids now can say, yeah, that's what Marcus Rashford did. And Marcus Rashford has raised money for us personally and kind of empowered us to be on the same path that he was on when he was our age. And look at him now. He's playing for Manchester United. He's going to be captain for Manchester United one day. He's going to be captain for England one day. I love the fact that he stepped forward and said, I was a disadvantaged young kid. I was a disadvantaged young boy. And look at where I've, look at where I've gone to. I'm proud of who I am. And Fair play to him and, and everything that comes for him in the future. We just hope he stays uninjured. Um, he's, he's a remarkable young man. Absolutely remarkable that Marcus, what Marcus Rashford is doing on and off the pitch. Another name too that you did mention, and we have to talk into, straight into him right now, Bruno Fernandes, because wow, we, and I mean, I just remember that when he did sign for Manchester United, um, it didn't really have the bells and whistles and the shininess that everybody was kind of expecting whenever anybody signs for Manchester United. But now we've been having the conversation, at least here on ESPN, about is he at least the best Manchester United signing in recent transfer windows? I mean, United obviously have signed some legendary names. So where does he rank for you? And just what do you think of this impact that he's had for, for United? Yeah, I mean, he's in that conversation, right? Is he the most impactful player for any elite a uh, professional soccer team in the world right now. Who else can you talk about? Obviously, you can talk about Messi. You can talk about Ronaldo. You can talk about Mbappe. Uh, you can talk about Lewandowski. But in terms of the assists and goals that Bruno Fernandes is involved with, you absolutely have to talk about him, him uh, as well. I think he showed up. He's not the most physically imposing guy. You know, he's quite slight. He doesn't necessarily look like a weapon. He doesn't look like Paul Pogba. He doesn't look like Scott McTominay. So you think, oh, okay, I'm not, not too sure about this guy. But in terms of his uh, footballing brain, the decisions that he makes on the pitch, he's absolutely brilliant. What I'm nervous about, obviously United are about to kick off in Europe in the next couple of hours or so. We won our first leg 4-0. I sincerely hope that Bruno Fernandes doesn't play. I hope he hasn't travelled. I hope that he gets wrapped in cotton wool. He is at a point in his career where he wants to play every single game. He's at that age. He doesn't seem to be picking up any injuries. But Manchester United now have to manage someone like him, like they did with Beckham, like they did with Roy Keane, like they did with Cantona, where they say, look, we will play you for the Chelsea game, for the Liverpool game, for the City game, for the Barcelona and Real Madrid game. But we're probably going to rest you for the games that are already a foregone conclusion because he is our most valuable player without Bruno Fernandes. I think you're then looking at other players around that don't have the same ability to put the game on their back and say, let me go make two goals for you. I honestly want to personally carry Bruno Fernandes on a mini vacation. I will pay for it if we're flying economy. I will pay for it myself um, once Thank COVID you. allows people to travel. But then I'll probably dip into your salary as well and we can upgrade him to first class. Take him to Jamaica. I think he deserves a couple of weeks on the beach in Jamaica, having a few mocktails, jumping in the ocean. You take care of him. <laughs> Bruno, we've got you. When you're ready for your vacation, just call us because we're absolutely going to do that. Someone else who could probably need a vacation as well, Paul Pogba. Let's talk about him because when it's his day, boy, 
is it his day? But then there's also the fact that he has made headlines in recent times, as early as last year, for all the wrong reasons we want to say. And then agents coming out talking about, you know, maybe he wants to leave. He's not happy at Man United. But, you know, then he goes out there and, and just really silences all these critics. So what do you think? Is he a player that United have to keep at all costs, knowing that we are now just a couple months away from a summer transfer window? I mean, he's a, he's a phenomenal talent, Paul Pogba. There's no question what, what an incredible athlete, you know. I, I think, unfortunately, because of his dynamic look, because of his dynamic appearance, the way that he plays, his fashion sense, all that kind of stuff, he does make the papers alongside his talent, obviously. I think it, it feels to me that maybe Paul Pogba doesn't necessarily want to be the man at Old Trafford. He might want to be the man's right-hand man. You know, he wants to be the guy that helps Bruno Fernandes have the best game. He wants to be the guy that helps Marcus Rashford have the best game. So I think maybe he was being played in a way that he didn't want to be played. The last couple of games that he's played, he's been brilliant. Wouldn't surprise me if we see him playing for Chelsea because he is a big game player. He doesn't shy from, you know, the, those, those big opportunities. Well, you know, if he wants to stay at United, this is the thing nowadays with player power. If a player wants to leave, I don't think a team can do anything. They have to let him go. If a player wants to stay, then we have to make that case for him because he's brilliant. I don't know where else he would go that would have the same effect. Does he fit into a Real Madrid team? Does he fit into a Bayern Munich team or a Barcelona team? I'm not sure. We could easily make him into a legend if he gets more and more game time. But that's going to be down to the player and us generally ignoring his agent, I think. Agents can be a nightmare at the best of times. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.